All right. So Rhineland banger. That was a Rhineland banger, and honestly, this is my favorite map. I think this is everyone's favorite map. Mm -hmm. It's like obvious, you know. It's like the micro is actually insane. You see people microing on this map. It's like actually forty minutes straight of micro. You know, playing on this map, your hands actually hurt after playing on it. I yes. would. Uh, to be fair, I, in this like open matches where the matches are just going bang, bang, bang with no breaks, I would hate to play Rhineland back to back. I guess you get 20 minutes of like build up where it's kind of like you're, you can chill for a second. I mean, I don't know. I think I'm a little sociopathic in the sense that I enjoy having like back to back, like pure micro, but only I if do like, too. you're in that zone. Like if you're in that flow state, then I think it's nice. If you're in the flow state, it's perfect. But, um, you know, something like a 20 minute of buildup can actually break your flow state for me, at least. Fair enough. Let me. Okay, here it is. Okay. Any predictions on what builds you think you're going to see? What paths, rather? Um, I would like to see a Soviet path, and I would on uh, uh, on allies. I, I would, to be fair, honestly, I'll be completely 100% honest with you. I mm -hmm. would like to see anything except for allies' left path. Anything. <laughs> if you're doing it, I think that's troll. <laughs> If you are, it's too, it's really good, man. Like, I, I was, like, looking at the stats. Like, look, you get 10% planning as US if you go superior firepower uh, without the planning bonus. Then suddenly you're getting 49% planning from one focus. That might not seem like a lot, but you actually get that planning pretty fast. It's like, what, two days you get max planning almost. Maybe a little bit more. Slightly. Slightly. And then on Axis, um, I don't know. The thing is, though, you know, tanks would be cool. But the reality of tanks on this map is that uh, if you end up dumping IC on tanks, which is a mistake I did against College, uh, you will feel the pain. You will feel I, the pain. I, I would say that the one thing that would be very spicy to see is right side Japan on Rhineland. Because it is technically viable here. You get bicycle infantry so you can get to your cities fast enough. I know you have to go, uh, like, two with motorized to get to... Or is it cone fast enough? But with the exception of that specific nuance, I feel like you can get away with doing right side. You get cheaper infantry equipment on a map where you need as much as possible. You get more recruitable pop. And all the recovery rate seems really nice. You get, what, 15% from your, your leader, another 20% from Bushido. You can get it more on your, your general as well. I think it's like 10% from the general trait or field marshal trait. Well, the ally player is going spies. Uh, just give me one second, chat. Uh, keep talking. I, I just need to do something real quick. Sorry. Okay. I'll be right back. Two minutes. Ta-ta. Yeah, for anybody who's out of the loop, usually in all these games, what you'll see 99% of the time is that both sides will just go down exclusively the start rapid industrialization, the like uh, Civ Factory and Mill bonuses that you get. Because there's very little reason not to. And the way that it is set up is you get more factories the longer you go down. So when you start going down the first focus of the three for expand arms industry, you only get three mills. But by the time you make it to the third focus, you get six per state. So instead of starting out and getting only three, by the time you're done, you get 12 from a single focus. So you're a little pigeonholed into going down the entire part of that branch if you want to get good value out of it otherwise you're wasting a lot of time but the other side of the issue is you can't afford to go down the mill the, the mill focuses and the civ focuses just because there's just not enough time in the mod for the pre-war buildup to do all of that so most of the time you ever watch these games you will see everyone go down the mill path immediately and then they'll pivot into whatever the path of their choosing is so i think from experience it's like you do four focuses you finish all of the mill focuses I'm and back. then you go into your your country which i think you get enough time to do three of the country focuses i would say that the the meta like if we're talking about build up meta it's you go you rush mills 
uh you research yeah, been, um yeah. you research survivability studies and heavy and mgs yeah yeah and then uh so you do uh, all small airframes like everything else is a throw small airframes uh fighters um and basically you try to produce as many guns as possible and then you do a little bit of artillery on some of your divisions you do support artillery yeah you want to build up your production efficiency cap by just putting like a few factories on a little bit of the side equipment like motorized already support equipment and you put most of what you have on guns and then once you design the plane you put most of that into planes the only thing that's like up for debate is whether or not it's better to do fighter bombers or if it's better to do fighters and cast i think it's better to do fighters and cast personally fighters and cast for sure fighters and cast um but uh, uh to add on to that um like it would be cool like i was saying it would be cool if we could see tanks on this map but the thing is the line is so big that it's uh, literally a throw you have to have as many infantry as possible well i mean i think there was an exception to that in that you could do the soviet path specifically because you get the super late game tech you get advanced heavy tank chassis which even the germans when you go down the tiger path you get improved so you get really ahead of time tanks and then at that point if you use the isu and you design it because you get a, what is it a, is it a they can't yeah, pierce 25 percent reduction in heavy tanks so you can go like infantry heavy tanks instead of like it, it's a dumb template but it works because you if you can survive as the soviets long enough oh. you can get like 60 70 percent cap on your heavy tanks you and they're so cheap you're sh you're making them so fast hey this is actually pretty smart look what serotonin is doing on the production line oh infantry Ooh. equipment one to produce faster but that yeah. being said, they have a bunch of mills free right now. That is not Pog. Please, please fix it. Serotonin. Please. Looking for them. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Serotonin. Serotonin. Please. No. I can't. My soul, I can't look anymore. I'll just look at the Axis player. But uh, if we look at the Axis oh, player. Oh, I see what they were doing. They, they, were make, they were designing a, a, a fighter template. Oh, that's what they were doing. Okay, okay, that makes okay, sense. Respect, right. respect. respect, respect. They didn't lose that much time in reality then. We're just giving them a hard time, but they're actually doing just fine. Um, and then if we're talking about metas in terms of focuses, I think the metas for ally is pretty defined. It's left side allies, uh, left side America. It's yeah. really good. It's just really good. You it's know, the most cookie cutter basic one. Yeah, like you go superior firepower, right? Which gives you some nice bonuses to soft attack and whatever. Because in reality, in this game mode, you'll get maybe one, Wish. two, three. Uh, uh, Max. Uh, uh, what? Apparently, Kristoff was able to see our things. <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh, oh. I did not know that, actually. I'm sorry. We are so sorry. <laughs> I'm going to write a visual apology. We... I'm so doing? sorry we didn't realize you could see our pings. We will stop. I thought it was just the observer thing. Like, observers can show each it other should pings. should just be an observer thing. That's bizarre. <laughs> We're giving him moral support. Oh, man, no. Serotonin, I'm really sorry. They might be thinking that we're, like, goofing on them. Well, we Perhaps. are kind of. We kind of are, but we not. Kinda, we kind of were. <laughs> we kind of were. A little bit. <laughs> but not to their face, okay? All right. Yeah, you're right. Either way, Back it's not Back to your original thing. point. You were talking about superior yeah. firepower. So, so, yeah, you get the superior firepower, right? You, in reality, you get maybe one, two, maybe three uh, in your doctrine. It's very rare. Um, uh, uh, you know, uh, but you use those bonuses, and then on top of that, when you get passing the torch, you get 30% planning bonus. And then to top it all off, you get a huge industry bonus in Arsenal of Democracy, which is why the left side allies is so powerful. And not only that, you also get infantry division attack. Keep in mind that in most of these maps, your divisions are just infantry. They're like pure infantry. It's, you're not playing with 17, seven twos. This isn't Tommy K's, uh, 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 you know, this isn't Tommy K single player where you go 14, uh, 14 fours, right? Yeah, you can't. You just can't. Um, you have to do like 12 wits, 10 wits. You have to. Now, though, I wonder, uh, do any of them that you can I, see... I love Tommy, so... Do any of them have uh, motorized in production like whatsoever? doesn't look like it. Yeah, the ally doesn't. 
Yeah, not, not easy access. I'll be curious to see if they uh, know the lesson that we learned, which is that you need to have two with them more. Same thing with Amsterdam as well. I got down to seventh doctrine. To be fair though, Kristoff, you were just permanently fighting with infantry over and yeah. over. It was an absolute brawl. Yeah, actually, I could see them getting a lot of doctrine in that one. Like that, yeah. In this map, probably doctrine actually yeah. matters a lot more. But but that's the exception to the rule, not the normal circumstance, Kristoff. Usually, people don't just lose seven hundred thousand men casually. Wow, I actually seven is insane. Yeah, seven seven down on doctrine. I've actually never seen that before. I, I wish I looked at that. I would honestly say at that point, it'd be more worthwhile to do superior firepower, the doctrine, the opening one, and then getting the two unique spear to the army and spear to the division of command bonuses, which is already attack and breakthrough. I'd say that's more worthwhile to get than getting that extra doctrine. Well, uh, you know, uh, Christoph, uh, what was the point of the research slot? In the same yeah, time you got the rich. At the same time you got the research slot, you could have got the 30% planning bonus, by the way. But we'll talk about it later. Let's focus on the game right here because Kristoff played last match. We're here to look and uh, appreciate Kaglak and uh, Serotonin, the players that we have on the battlefield today, our two commanders that are currently in conflict. I said the title. Oh my god. I said the title. Yeah, just typical standard opening. Both of them going down their industry. Pretty soon we'll find out the spicy part, if there's going to be anything different or if it's going to be a usual like Axis build, Allied build. In two days, they should pick their focuses. You could, you, yeah, we're gonna see, see which what they're gonna go. Okay, bets. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. What do you no, think, bets? Axis? Yeah, I, yeah. I got spoiled on the Axis. I got no, spoiled on the Axis. Allies. I have to predict that. Okay, okay we're going uh, out. So let's see. What do you? What is it? I, I think <laughs> I really uh, want it to be Soviets, but it's gonna be the U.S. I'm gonna go with Commonwealth. I'm gonna go with Commonwealth. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look. It is U.S. I was right. Yeah, it's. Oh. Where is the diversity? All of these cowards pick something spicy. Pick something spicy. I want to see something different. And then me, if I'm playing, yeah, I'm going U.S. <laughs> Smiley. <laughs> Smiley. We can see the the Axis player going for radios. Very important tech, honestly. Agree. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem, well, it's four percent, like you see, four percent reinforce rate, but it's four percent reinforce or five percent reinforce rate per tick. That's got to be insane, right? Five ticks is twenty-five percent. Five percent it helps a lot, but it's just mainly because two is so low instead of seven being so high. I mean, if you just l looking at it mathematically, you're almost, uh, you're almost, uh, you're almost four timing your reinforce rate. It's a, it's a three digit increase. But it, you're almost four timesing it. You're three timesing yeah. it. But that's 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 insane. Mm -hmm. Radio tech is actually quite big. Just looking at a stats perspective. Strangely enough, so I, serotonin is on the allies, right? Yeah. Yeah. Serotonin doesn't know that in games like these, it's not really worthwhile to go down like mechanical computing and whatnot because it just doesn't give you enough of return on investment because the base research is so high. They should be getting radio instead of researching mechanical computing. I agree on that one. They'll fix it for next week. Um, do you know how, how exactly the open works? I was just, I'm just here for to cast, man. They're just like, hey, you want to cast some games? And I was like, sure. And then yeah, they're I like, have no idea. <laughs> I have absolutely no clue. And they're like, hey, you wanna, you wanna? Oh, by the way, uh, make sure to subscribe if you're liking the content. I had to put that in there. Um, but yeah, I actually don't know how the open works. Uh, Midge Man can tell us when he comes. Mm. No. Uh, uh, Ivan Vakta, I, I think that's how you pronounce your name. Mechanical computing in normal games is fine. It's just this this game is uh, you're playing for what two years and a half, and you have limited amount of research. You have a limited amount of time. I don't think getting the 4%. yeah, there's just stuff that's more important. Yeah, that to get like you're wasting very valuable time, especially during a period where the opening moves of the war are arguably among yeah. the most important. Yeah, you so play from forty one uh, January forty one to June forty two, and not even it's uh, May uh, April forty two, right? Is that the end date? It's like something like that. So it's like, yeah, it's, like that. it's a little bit less than a year and a half that you're. I mean, two years and a half that you're playing. Uh, so yeah, the the research just can be used on something else. That's all. Um, yeah, and here we're seeing basically uh, the same. Like this is pretty standard. Uh, improved small airframe, triple machine gun. Uh, armor plates with self-sealing fuel tanks, 
Um, on this map, you don't need the drop tanks as much, I feel like. Um, they're not as important. On other maps, drop tanks is very important. Yeah, especially for Libya. Or, like, actually, even more so for uh, the C1. Pacific map, yeah. You know, uh, I saw... Huh. Actually, you know, maybe it's good. Um, I saw Serotonin do this on um, the last match that we casted of hers. Uh, cannons? Yeah, the cannons. It gives you more air attack, but you lose a little bit of air agility. I, I think that's what you're supposed to do. If I, I, I think that's what Leonard was explaining to me. That this is better. In, yeah, because you get uh, air attack in this sense is more valuable. I think the air rework has made it so air attack in particular is the most like useful stat that and you then, can possibly get, unlike before, where it was agility. And then also going for the non-strategic uh, material use. That's, that is a horrible... No, that's, yeah, that's awful. Yeah, you should never do that. You're going from 20... It didn't even occur to me. It's going, you're going from 21 air defense to 15. That seems like a big debuff. No, I mean, you're producing terrible. more... I I've done it before. It's not... Yeah, no. You get shot worth. down too much. It's not worth it all. The thing you could do is you make it if you don't have the resources. Like, Because like, theoretically, let's say you don't have Malta, right? But you need to put more on planes. You do one line with that, and then you do another line with fewer factories that you're converting the plane without the aluminum use into the one that does. Like, yeah. you get rid of it. That's yeah. the only way you can make it work is if you refit. But they're not doing that, so it doesn't matter. It's yeah. a blunder. Oh! But who knows? Make it work out. Look at what the Axis player is doing. Let's go. Some oh diversity. Medium, Medium flame, flame thing. Tanks. Let's go. I don't think I've ever seen that. <laughs> that gives you an entrenchment bonus in vanilla, doesn't it? No, it's actually really good. It's actually really good. I, well, yeah, look at look at it. Uh, it's in, it's in uh, his support companies for his infantry. His infantry is bulky. He's got AA. A, a, wow, wow. Well, he's got a lot that's, of stuff in that. that's like his special infantry, I feel like. There's no way that he's going to make more than like four of these. I mean, he's making six right now as we six? speak. Six? Yes. Is there look at, the, look at the terrain bonuses he gets as well. He gets ten on a, on forest, five on hills. You know, um, is that a, a normal infantry thing? No. Is that what is that what flame tanks yeah, gives you? In that's vanilla? what I was about to say. Yeah, flame tanks give you bonus uh, oh attack to God. forts, rivers, amphibious. They're like you get uh, bonuses on urban. Amphibious gives you thirty five. Oh you know, my God! There was a, one of my viewers kept telling me, "Go flame tanks, go flame tanks, go flame tanks," and I just shoved him off. But in reality, if you are able to build flame tanks, it's insane because it's like having a double engineer company. Um. It's like literally, it's like having double engineer company okay. or offense. Uh, someone made a good point, by the way. What are your thoughts on someone naval invading Malta on this map? You can do it. It's t it belongs to the neutral nation. Uh, you shouldn't do it. It goes against the ex essence of the, the Rhine. Don't bring in Malta into this. Yeah, but you know I would do it in the game. <laughs> you already know I'd be all over that. This is why you got last place, man. You spent too much time focusing on these things, man. Shut up. I'm an innovator. <laughs> no, it's good, though. Like, what? You get a bunch of resources. You get a bunch of factory. No, you don't get a bunch of factories. You get a bunch of non-core manpower, yeah. but the resources are insane, right? What is he going down? What are they cooking? Oh, smoking fire. Yeah, you're not going to get these divisions out in time. Always a chance that if he doesn't get destroyed at the start, he'll be able to naturally outscale with divisions that I think are not really beatable per se, because he has the tiger to help a little bit. The stats on the tiger is pretty good as well. 300 soft attack, 300 hard attack. Hard attack doesn't really matter, but the break Wait, is nice. Wait, is this the spawn-in? Yeah. Wait, the spawn-in comes in looking like this? Yeah. This is like the Probably only the... good tank spawn-in. Yeah, it's the only one that's actually worth anything in, in the tree. But the problem is, is you can't replenish it. And all the tigers, if you lose a single tiger, it, you, can't, you can't rebuild it. You get, you it's not lose worth it to put it into production. You get a spawn-in version of the tank. If you look at it, two of the module slots are missing. And the, it uses smoke launchers and uh, basic radios. It's not designed right. So if you want to make a version of the tiger that's useful, it needs to be a lot better than this. As it stands right now, though, if you look at it, it has 56 reliability. So anytime you get into combat, for people who don't know, if you're less than 70% reliability, you lose an obscene amount of equipment. What's up with the 12 in armor and 13 in engine? I don't know. Who designed this? So yeah, this is really powerful for the Axis. On a map like Libya especially, it's great. But when you're doing it on something like... uh. 
I don't even remember the official name, but if you're doing it on like the Rhine map, it's difficult because you're in combat Cross so Rhine. often, you just keep bleeding from attrition. Not even because the enemy are killing the tanks, but rather you're just losing naturally. Who's it winning hurts. right now? It hasn't started yet. The war is about to be declared in 13 days. The war has begun to begin and the micro so, fest is going to begin right now. Who do you give advantage to right now? Let me look at the division counts. So right now the Axis has 31 and the Allies have 44. Quite a bit more. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 44. You're right. It's actually not even that bad. Has his good divisions gotten out yet? How many more? If it... So he's making six, seven, oh, seven a week. So almost nearly one a day. He's up on guns. He has it on planes. Who's got more on planes? The thing he's is, though, serotonin divisions are just straight up 10 wits. That's it. There's no supports. There's no support artillery. Nothing. It's just straight up 10 wits. The thing is, though, on this map, on the early game, if you have a huge numbers advantage, you can come out really on top. But if you can't yeah. even pierce these tanks, you can't even pierce the infantry division uh, they're making, uh, it's no, going to be really rough. It. He's three not micro Three speed, three speed, three speed, three speed. Oh, he already got cone. Okay. Are these two with motorized? Jeez. Three speed, three speed, three speed, three speed. Hold them. It's already really bad because... uh. Serotonin didn't go motorized of her own, so she was not able to get to the cities in time. You should be able to get to Cone barely faster than the Germans because they have to cross over a river. So now she's playing from a huge disadvantage from here on out. Oh no. Wait, all yep. three victory points have gone to the Axis already? Yeah. Why were the Axis divisions way faster? Motorized, she didn't have any. Motorized supply? We'll see. No, no, if if if, if she, she doesn't make divisions that go 12 kilometers an hour, like actual full motorized template, you can't get to cone fast enough. Same thing with Amsterdam. Ally bros is not looking good. Ah, man, I was just talking about how, like, the division advantage, but it's not going to matter. And those those really good flame tank divisions are out, and they're supplied. They're out, and they're supplied. I don't see where they are right now. They're they're mainly in the south, but they're all greens too. I would honestly take the time, considering that most of the cities, like he has all the cities except for Amsterdam, that I would just train them. I think I think the difference between a division that's green versus a division that is like trained, it, it's just too big. It's fifty percent stats. You can't just brush that aside. I mean, they're both just sort of like in the opening phases. Nothing really seems to be like Amsterdam. too devilish on either side. I don't see any devious licks. Wait, How's the air looking? Amsterdam went back to the Allies side or they always had it? No, they they recaptured it. There was yeah. one really, really low org uh, motorized division that was holding it for a bit and he couldn't get in fast enough. He went up on planes, so he's got 12 on fighters now. Air right, right now, light. air right now is going in the favor of the allies player. It's trading in the favor of the Axis player though, but that's kind of expected when you go um, the um, what is it called? The aluminum, the oh what, yeah yeah the yeah this what is it called? I'm forgetting its name. Reduce strategic uses. Yeah, there you go. It reduces strategic uses. Like yeah, you're gonna win initially on the air superiority, but I think you're just gonna keep trading worse. So the longer the game goes. It's going to get worse. It's going to just get worse and worse. And not, and not having Cone from experience, not having Cone is a really big deal. There's just so many resources there. It, it hurts a lot. It's like that in all of the maps where like the middle point uh, always has way more resources than all the other points. Yeah. I mean, Arsenal of Democracy, get that, that, that planning bonus attack, and I think you could do it. Yeah, and you can see that uh, Serotonin is going straight for passing the torch. Meanwhile, um, yeah, this is the Jericho horns are coming out. Air superiority is gonna swing, I think, into the German players' favor, and also uh, ca completely winning Cass in the in in southern Germany, but uh, or western Germany. What I was gonna say is um, he's they're about to get a hundred Ju 87s coming out, or U 87s. J U 87s. J U 87s. Why is the U lowercase? That's Never a great mind. question. Never mind. I mean, that'll help a lot with the cast, but this doesn't even be enough of combat to really, like, necessitate it. I mean, they're getting pushed in the north, but I don't think the 100, I don't think the 100 casts are going to, like, change that from 
happening. It's the, it's the classic situation where you go quality over quantity, and just because there's so much more org on the quantity side, you can't hold. That's what it looks like right now from Serotonin's POV. They just have such an insane outnumber that, sure, those divisions are able to do goofy stats, but it doesn't matter. Is it insane? Is it insane? Uh, it's oh, well, it's 36, 37 divisions now to 50, 51 divisions. So Allies player does definitely have the division advantage, and there's the spawn and yeah, tank. They're just gonna get they're gonna get literally human waved. You know the spawn and medium tank division is also not that bad. It's not a ten the or. Heart attack is really unfortunate, but yeah, the soft attack's good. Yeah, that's. That's gonna tickle the the heavy, the tigers, but the thing is, the tigers you just look at them funny; they'll just crash because <laughs> of their reliability. Yeah, he's already <laughs> lost uh, eleven of them. Eleven tigers. I mm -hmm. think with the tiger division, the bad part about it is if you want to keep using them, you're gonna have to keep spending uh, XP to remove them. Yeah. Or you can just let it de strength to death, and that's an encirclement for the Axis player. That's one division going down. Keep in mind, though, the allied player divisions are all just 10 with spam. Yeah, losing it, losing them, any of them on their own is not that important. Like one here, there is not that bad, but big well, encirclements, of course, wait, are bad. Wait, 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 wait. Does that connect? It does. If uh, that tile that the tank is attacking on gets taken, it just needs one more after that. Not even the one that's adjacent to the heavy tank, but the one that's to the east of it will also. Oh, yeah, connect. yeah. I see what you're saying, yeah. Tiger already retreating. Serotonin is a woman, yeah, is. by the way. Should it... Yeah, Serotonin should have gone for the other tile, in my opinion. Uh, I'm saying that like, oh, that sounded so weird at me saying that. I'm saying that because uh, you're no, saying coping. Oh, I'm sorry, it's <laughs> natural instinct. Yeah, because the Hoi 4 players, yeah. It sounded like I was Allied... saying that like, oh my god, she's a girl. But no, it's like, uh, I help you. I like bros, by the way. It, it's It's looking good. I mean, you can't hold clone if there's only a single division on it. They could reinforce like they are right now, but as long as that uh, push in Friesland keeps going, it's going to be really difficult to hold it because you have that one railroad that routes in next to Dortmund. But then after that, you have that last one that's at Frankfurt, and he only has one division covering it. So as long as Serotonin attacks either end of the railroad network, then they're just going to starve at clone no matter how many divisions gets put on there. And there you go. Yeah, um, you're, what you're saying is so right, though. It's just like the the division advantage is actually coming in for serotonin. These like flame tank divisions, like they're cute, but um, you know, is there, are they actually making a big enough difference? And Colm is now getting encircled. There's not enough of them for sure. Yeah, and the thing is, the more you engage, the less equipment you're gonna have, right? So it's like it's not like you can suddenly make more. I mean. Once it, with enough time and enough production cap, you can make enough of them where it can balance the problem. But so far as it is at the start, where you just outnumbered by like 20 divisions, it's just it's just not enough of a meaningful gain spending the IC on that than you could have gotten from just spending more on infantry equipment. Like it matters now because they're making one a day with just three factories, but they're just so behind on infantry equipment that it's gonna be it's gonna be so tough to recover. Especially when you're getting pushed this badly. God forbid you lose Koln and most of the advantage you had is just gone. And it was just a blunder by Serotonin anyway because she didn't go motorized. If she had gone motorized, she could have gotten the city and then it would have been even worse of a position right now than it was before. Serotonin is also 70 days away from getting passing the torch. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what the Axis does to be able to respond. It's still more than winnable for him just because he owns the city. But I don't see what is the bigger scope of like their intention to, to be able to do a counterattack. Like some sort of like I win division. Because the US can do passing the torch. And at that point, they have such really, really strong bonuses from their planning that it's hard to respond. And if you don't, ask, if you don't come up with some alternative as the Axis, it's really difficult to be able to keep up. Every division starts getting like 50% planning bonus. And at that point, you're outnumbered by so many divisions that you, they have so much stats that it's difficult to even try to like hold anywhere. And that, that's like when you usually see the game start crumbling for the Axis. And the Tiger is still at 90% strength. It has some use to it. It could beat the allied medium, but she's also attacking into a tile with a completely out of fuel tank. Yeah, either Essen or Dortmund. Dortmund? I'm butchering Dortmund. it. Dortmund? Yeah, either one of those two cities needs to fall. 
And then the railroad network won't connect to Cone. And then it'll be really hard to supply from that point on. Yeah. Uh, keep in mind, uh, chat, that right now, technically, the Axis player is winning. Because they are holding yes. both Cone and Frankfurt. But Cone is on the verge of falling. Cone oh. is on the verge of falling right now. In a second. Those are some nutty defense uh, stats. But, uh, oh, now it's back to a green bubble. It's confused. It's now back to a red bubble. Um, and, oh, another two divisions lost. Yeah, you have to be careful. Like, one division here, one division there. But, you know, you don't want ha what happened to you to the Axis player in the last match we just casted. Yeah, yeah um, absolutely. You don't, you don't want it to be a trend. You don't want you don't want to just be like losing so many divisions that it's getting really bad. And the Axis mm -hmm. player though, losing one division would be devastating. Axis player is also making another little mistake by not putting his spies into the city of Amsterdam. So while he is getting the bonus on the allied max planning factor and entrenchment, it's only applying to the core land and nothing on the front line. Let's well, check in really quick and see if yeah, same thing from the Allied, but they they don't even have two spies. That's what if he puts everything in Amsterdam, he won't be able to get Serotonin won't be able to get any planning. Like she, I mean, that's the gets... counter to the American build is uh, yeah. is is spy micro. Like that is mm -hmm. actually the 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 counter to the Allied build. Yep. We'll see if the if they're able to notice that and like move the spies over to Amsterdam. That would help a lot. Because then it would actually also affect... I think it would go from Amsterdam all the way down to Koblenz. Like, the Moslen. I mean, Essen is under attack. He's got the division there. Funny enough, putting in that uh, flame tank actually makes it a... Uh, almost like a space marine. They can't pierce. They can't pierce? The support? No, it, yeah, it does 65% of the damage to the, uh, to the infantry. Wait, the, so, does it actually do that with the entire division? Because it's just a yeah, support, if though. If you mouse over... No, no, that's how it works. Support companies that have armor give the division armor as well. Because they're spread out through the entire division, technically. Yes. So if you look at it, the armor of the template is 7.778 on the division that's attacked at Essen. And the ones that are attacking do 4.23 piercing. 2.7. So they're only doing 65% damage. Hmm. With enough time, those flame tanks divisions could go absolutely ham. Like, he has two on it, and it's almost making one a day now. So, like, 69 are in stockpile at this point. Give him another two months, and he'll probably be able to just start pushing. Because getting that much of a bonus on your divisions is just disgusting. And somehow they're still holding Koln. Somehow they are still on that city. By a god-given miracle. I really don't know how. Running out of equipment, though, you see that? He's down 1.7k infantry equipment, and the allies are still fine. I mean, when you go the way the allies is playing, you're you're going to have, like, way better on equipment, right? Yeah. Uh, they're running out of artillery. What is using artillery, though? Actually, no, they just have a bunch of artillery. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, yeah, because their division that they, uh, tra they changed. Yeah, if I'm the Axis player here, I, I'm going to start slowly converting all of the normal base infantry to over to the flame tank template. You have enough supply to do it for like four of the infantry. You got to start converting all of them so you start taking as much uh, strength damage. As it stands though, Frankfurt is under grave threat. They're about to get encircled in here in a second. There's nine infantry next to the fringe of the city. You either can encircle at Nuremberg or push up and then do a connection that stretches from Frankfurt all the way up to Ham. And then at that point, like, they're just going to get cut in half. I would ping it, but then the axe player will see the ping. <laughs> Do you think we helped Kristoff by doing the pings that we did? No, because all the pings we were doing were just in random areas. Ah. It was probably very confusing when we started, like, spam pinging in, like, circles, if you remember. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, man, yeah, I see the opening. Thank you. <laughs> and then, look, Dortmund... Yeah, I think the play for the allies here is just, you know, slowly, slowly uh, encircle Koln. You have the time. You have the bonuses. Passing the torch now nine days away from getting that planning bonus. And then at Those that point... Mode. At that point, you just hold the line. And then wait until you get planning. And then push. Then wait until you get planning. Then push. Then yep. wait until you get planning and push the allied way. 
This is the allied and way. The tiger is now down a 67% strength. It's starting to become a non-factor again. It's it's literally just for the early stages of the war, the tiger. I mean, it still has decent stats. It's doing like 400 right now. Not bad. It's still, yeah, it's Actually, it's still, it's still doing relevant. good. 700 breakthrough too. That's pretty big, right? Yeah, 700 breakthrough is not bad. I mean, it's basic infantry that they're fighting into anyway, so it's already doing like two to one on the defense, which is enough. It's more than enough. Yeah. Desert Fox, there it is. Yeah, the thing it's is, uh, with, with the Axis player, the ally player has to be ca very careful. Actually, I say that, but the ally player is doing way better in terms of manpower, and I wonder why, actually. Why is that the case? Have they gone up on manpower law? They're at extensive conscription. The Germans are at also at extensive conscription. That's when weird. Did they do uh, that? Did, did, they get, did they get a recruitable pop factor, maybe? I mean, it could also be from the fact that they captured a lot more territory, so they're getting oh, yeah. more non-core. Yeah, yeah. Does uh, non-core actually have that much of impact? Not really. Uh, the only places it ever really matters is like in like when we're playing like TFB and Finland gets uh, Nigeria, it has 20 million manpower in the state. So it's so much that <laughs> you start getting like you get that's actually a thing. Manpower. You get Finland. Yeah. That's why Finland got nerfed is because I, I, I took it as Finland and I also as the Axis kept giving it to Finland and you get like they're they're balanced around not having manpower. <laughs> It's the same thing here, but on a smaller scale. Something like Amsterdam by itself has 300,000 manpower, which is not that much. But then you start looking, and everywhere put together is like a couple million manpower. So it's impactful. Yeah. Like, there's been games that have been decided with less manpower, like non-core manpower. Yeah. Uh, the name of the mod. This is called Commanders in Conflict. I can link you the mod as soon as the match is over. The Darling Angel. Or if someone else, uh, if uh, Firefly, if you are in chat, if you can link the mod right now. Oh my god, some of the infantry are down to 40% strength. On the axes? Yeah, the infantry equipment situation is getting better. He's only down by 500 because the production cap is at 77 now, so he's making 78 a day. But as long as they keep permanently attacking like this over and over, he could keep the divisions from reinforcing, like strength reinforcing. You can only do this for so long before it gets really bad. It's now 47 divisions to 37, though. though. US Funny is... enough, the U.S. is having supply problems as well. Yeah. You know, um, um... I don't know. Uh, the thing is, uh, mm, silent hunters on the side of the Axis. Wouldn't you want to just go for the 10% uh, division attack? Yeah, so you have to do that focus, though, to get down to the, the uh, strength attack. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah, yeah. you do. Yeah, you do. Never mind. You're right. Yeah, you also should probably grab the Spirit of Division command for Mobile Warfare or Maneuver Warfare. That would probably help quite a bit. Same thing for the US. I doubt they picked their... Yeah, they need to get overwhelming firepower or smoke and fire, more importantly. Breakthrough... Wait, it's 5% breakthrough. Yeah, and then the other one in the center makes it so you can design templates for no ma or no XP. Oh, wow. That was the old meta they used to do. You would get your first focus on the country path that was 100 XP, then grab superior firepower, save up the XP to get that, and then you could design free templates. It's better than making them for like without doing that. I mean, there's a big breakthrough in the southeast now, so he's moving over a bunch of divisions. But in doing so, he's made the northwest front by the Dutch even weaker. So wherever he moves to respond to the push, he's just making the other flank even weaker, and then they ping pong back and forth. Yeah. Pushing another tile. What's that, that railroad network like? Let's see. They're one tile away. The one north of Frankfurt is important, and then the one stretching from Dortmund, they need to take either that tile or the one behind it, and then that entire section's cut off. They don't get any of the three supply hubs. I guess Castle could also get... Yeah, they could route through Hanover and then Castle. That would also work. I don't know. They just seems outnumbered. Just looking at the south... Like, I'm just comparing with what you're staring at, like, on your POV. This is a bit of a stream delay, obviously, but... It's just like... Look at that. Look how difficult it is to respond. 
It really is. It, it doesn't even like seem game. that it doesn't seem like that big, you know, like when it's 37 to 47, but it's actually having such a huge impact, especially when the allies player keeps making the line the keeps making the front line bigger. Yeah, and bigger. And the cast is just destroying him too. If you look at the Western German air zone, look at the details under days. Our troops bomb 364, enemy troops bomb 69. Oh okay, my. It's 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 really bad. They're just taking so much strength damage just from the cast alone with all the infantry fighting everywhere. That being said, I don't think uh, she's putting like her strength to bear enough. There's some tiles that she should be attacking. Like you see the two that there's two divisions per tile north of Dortmund and she's not attacking the two planes tiles. There's even an airport uh, west of Ham. And like those two tiles could easily get taken because she could attack with four on either. And then like that's just a free gimme. I'm surprised that the air is still going into the favor of the allies. Like, they've been trading badly this entire time. Yeah, let's compare. He's making 1.89 versus Serotonin, you know, who is making 1.58. Yeah, that's crazy. You know, uh, I think uh, I think the main difference here, the reason why the ally player is not getting ratioed so hard on it, is actually those, those two cannons. Yeah, uh, the, it might be, honestly. I think that honestly might be the better uh, build oh, no. on the, the aircraft is Ser the two Serotonin, cannons. Serotonin is making a bit of a blunder though right now though. Didn't push into Wilhelm Taven. Ooh, that would have been a very Wait, big what? encirclement. Oh, whoa. what the fuck? Oh, teleporting units. Wait, what? I don't think that was. Oh, they're, they're getting out of the port. They're not going to die. There you go. That was very bizarre. Surely that was not a TP. No, like no, it might, it might have been just an accidental hit of the H button. Yeah. It's Benefit tough. of the doubt. Yeah, I, they're getting close. They've taken Frankfurt now, so they're officially winning the game. There's still that railroad that they can route through. If they take the tile north of Frankfurt and the one... Like, if they just take Dortmund, then Cone will fall, guaranteed. They just need to take two tiles and the entire south, like, the entire center just completely collapses and then the lines will get even shorter and then the numbers advantage will be even worse yeah that tile west of ham though is getting attacked like i said though they're still pushing it in yeah some of the tile it's just not enough men to cover everything it's just getting slowly org ticked and there's no cast on the northern northwest germany too which is surprising because you have fighter bombers on the side of the Allies, they could just move a couple of the planes over Northwest Germany completely uncontested and do such a dumb amount of bombing that they could probably just push there alone and just win the win the entire front off of that. Yeah, we're just seeing uh, we're just seeing the front now getting wide, and it benefits the Allies player more and more. They did lose the division somewhere. Was it that poor one that ended up dying? No, it's still I think moving. One of the division side. Okay, strength deleted or something. I didn't see anything get encircled. Um, but uh, the a Axis player... Oh, whoa, wait. What? Okay, no, no, no. I was just miscounting. For some reason, I no. thought he lost more. Okay, no, no, no. The that Axis player is, saving is getting even worse. Yeah. They, he needs to come up with some form of response. I don't see the point of having port garrisons when they're not able to make it through the Danish belts. I think well, yeah, they, technically they can, but I don't see a reason why the U.S. would do that in sort of invasion right now. He needs to just move the division from Berlin or something. What kind are of divisions like are these? Or something? They're, they're just eight with eight with calves. They're eight with calves. I mean, they're just look at that salient. They go there. Look, yeah, like look how bad the salient is getting. And now serotonin is in the demanding position. Well, I feel like she was in the demanding position almost, um, like except for like the first. Like look five at the minutes. Network now too. Oh my God! Look how bad it's about to get. There's one tile now. Only one tile, and the entire supply hub situation is just completely doomed. But yeah, now serotonin is holding both Frankfurt and Amsterdam. Two of the three VPs. It's gonna get worse and worse. And it's just gonna keep getting worse. Oh no! Oh no! One tile oh. away. Oh, this could be the devastating blow. This could be the nail in the coffin. This, this yeah, right but here. Yeah, the zone is wrong. Yeah, the, the Germans noticed that they didn't have anything in Northwest Germany, so now they're, get, they're casting uncontested. It will be extremely hard for them to push in from that side. They'll have to do it from Western Germany if they ever want to push. They need to stay, They need to swap their air. The the force attack is not going to work. work. Is it going to work? Oh, 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 oh. 
They're not reinforcing. I, needs I, the I, last stand. Needs to reinforce. Sleep at the wheel. Oh wait, no, they're moving one in division. Okay, all right, maybe, maybe. They could get unlucky though and not oh, reinforce. Okay. okay, instant reinforce. Never yeah. mind. The radio tech. Uh, let me just make sure he has the radio tech to support my position. Yeah, the radio tech, making a big impact. Um, actually, radio tech is only a modifier. It does not mean it's guaranteed reinforce. They reinforced instantly, and I was very lucky. It is lucky, but it increases your luck, bro. This is true. You know, it's like you go to the slot machine, and they're like, if you put in, like, this special card, you get 5% more chance. Shut up. Unfortunately, <laughs> as well, the German player isn't even paying attention because Frankfurt got completely Dior and they didn't counterattack. They could have with the with the flame tank divisions. They have them right there. Someone nerd emojied me. I want this person no, out I of think chat they, right now. I think they nerd emojied me, man. <laughs> Who did you nerd emoji, Edward? Yeah, I think they nerd emojied me, which is what very well deserved. Honestly. I'm just, just looking at this. It's just... I Like... I won't um, say. You have to say. I'll ban you! Even though I'm not even a mod on this channel. Even I though I'm the turns, one hosting. I swear. Do you? Nope. <laughs> but they didn't need to know Dude, that it's now. not good to lie, dude, during Ramadan, man. This is true. Uh, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. That wasn't very pious of me. I forgive you, but I'm not sure about God. <laughs> <laughs> one tile away. On two different spots of the front. Dortmund sorry, looks like it's about to go down. There won't be a uh, supply hub there. They're already having supply issues at Frankfurt. They're starting to have one. The supply grace is going down. They could either cut it off at Castle. They could either cut it off on the next tile, the tile after that, the tile after that. <laughs> There's balls right now. Spots. How does, four. How does the German player get out of this? It's also funny seeing the two spawn in tanks with no like half strength, both of them. They're yeah, like they, staring they, at each other with half strength. You know, that being said, uh, the heavy tank still has decent stats. Uh, yeah, 359. Not bad. Edward, yes, for this map, that is the meta. For that, for this map, that's the meta. Planes and straight poor infantry. Yeah, just looking at it, it's just... They're going to they're gonna expand, so they'll have the network at ham now. There you go. Yeah, Counter-attack, yeah, so now it's... That... that... German like supply scenario is gone now. They're actually doing it's really well. The air. Oh, the wait, air? No, 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 they actually moved the planes over, but they moved every plane over, and now there's no planes in Western Germany. It's like you could just put it on both. Can you do on both though? They're, the serotonin is now it's very close to two to one losses. You should put the fighters up to cover Northwest Germany, and then you put the CAS over Western Germany. It's better to be uncontested while contesting your enemy than the other way around. Where it's like you both don't get any bonuses. Because look what's happening now in, at Belgium. I don't, think, I don't think. I think it'll be very difficult. Bar there being a bigger change in the situation, I don't really see divisions that are capable enough once the US is like really pumping. Because he's already on our. She's already on Arsenal of Democracy, so she could just make so much more equipment by default. Is she making anything that's considered like higher end equipment? No, she's just making bread and butter divisions. Yeah. The. They're gonna they're gonna have to go to service by requirement pretty soon. Yeah. Is the Germans already doing that? Uh Germans are on extensive nope, construction. So extensive. They have a plenty of manpower though. It's just with the build that serotonin is going, like you're taking two to one losses, right? Yeah. So uh, you know, we might see a repeat of what we saw last game, but on the other side now. Um, you know, you think just, well, serotonin, the she is producing more air, See, right? The, the, the thing that frustrates me, though, is that, right? It's like you look over on the far eastern part of the front, right? And you have three divisions per tile, two divisions per tile. They all have max planning on them, and she's not attacking with them. And these are, She they're, could they're end it right at, now, I think. Yeah, yeah, she literally is looking at divisions with less than 100% strength. She could just push in and completely like wrap, like it'd be like a door hinge type maneuver, and she's just not doing it, and I don't know why. I don't know why. She's just allowing herself be... to get pushed by Frankfurt. She could just push into Berlin. I and think the Frankfurt push won't matter. I think she just zoned in, man, which is very oh. reasonable on this map. Yeah, the, the, the side ply up now is cut off at Frankfurt. She only has the one coming in from Nuremberg. The divisions are gonna have 
a hard time. I please, she really needs to just push. I, I think she's playing too timid now, and it, it could be a yeah. detriment. I she's think not using her numbers advantage anymore. I think. It, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! This is oh, okay. There was almost a big encirclement, but she uh, was able to strategically redeploy. Um, but it seems. Um, yeah, like I, it, it's weird to say this because usually the Al, the Americans are a late game, but it seems like with the build the German players are going, uh, especially with the difference in their air modules, it yeah. seems that uh, the Axis player has got the late game advantage. Mm -hmm. and it feels like the Axis player has got a late game advantage. Border Viking, thank you for the raid. By the way, if you guys are enjoying the content, make sure to follow. There is also a YouTube page where plug, many of these, plug. yeah, many of these are put in. And if you really want to support this channel and support the projects that Speed Five does, you can subscribe. Do the Twitch. That was great. Well done. We got to do that, man. It's part of the deal. Wait, is that? Am I mistaken, or does Dwight Eisenhower spawn in with Fast Planner? He spawns in with Fast Planner. That's why he's okay. broken. I was about to say. That's why he's broken. Not only do you get the extra bonus from him being the Supreme Commander, but you also get his Field Marshal bonus. You know you know the max planning used to be like 80% or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then got plant changed. Yeah. Viking raid. The Vikings, hey, Vikings are here. Yeah. So I still don't understand why she's not using her manpower advantage. Like, like she could attack. She's out of men. She could attack this tile with four, like five divisions if she wanted to. She That's actually has to increase her per, per, her uh, her what do you call it? Conscription. Conscription. Yeah. I just said her prescription. She needs to up her prescription. <laughs> more flavor. More flavor. <laughs> she needs to up her prescription. She's getting a tolerance. Funny enough, I, I don't know why she does that either. So she's oh, got those oh, oh. six divisions, right? But she doesn't attack into the the tile with everything at once. There's she, a big push happening. Strength. Where? Boy, uh, Frankfurt. And Frankfurt is about to get encircled. Oh, she just no. needs to pin, 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 pin. Oh, oh no, now she's oh, no. getting pinned, but she's counter pinning. Oh no, no, no. Frankfurt no, is no. one tile away from getting encircled, and they're getting pinned, but they're getting pushed back out of the forest tile, and they're getting double pushed back. Oh, it looks like actually. It looks like that she might get encircled if she's not careful. She she keeps not doing it with all the divisions at once. She keeps like half of them sitting back to stay like on the defense. I, I it's don't a lot of micro. That. It's a lot of micro. It's more micro to do what she's doing right now. You think so? Honest to God, yeah, because you have to grab the divisions, press S, and then you click them. It's literally an extra input. Oh, and that's another division encircled. This is this she like this. this looks kind of like I don't. And actually, she lost Frankfurt. This is now a, a victory point advantage for the Axis player. Yeah. yeah, it could be a throw. This is, you know, we're seeing basically like a kind of less intense version of last game. Mm -hmm. I mean, just looking at this, it makes me think about how it's long term not going to be worth it for her. Because sure, she's making more planes and whatnot, but the modules on it are worse. And she doesn't have anything else that allows her to counter the... Flame tank division on the axis, which I think they're still making right now. Last I checked. The thing is, you're hey. saying she makes more airplanes, right? She got Arsenal of Democracy, and she's got the cheaper airplanes, but they're now equal on the amount of planes they have, like total amount of fighters. They're just like looking at the production tabs for yeah. the Germans and the Americans. Like it just looks better on the German side, honestly. There's some stuff that he just doesn't need, like AA, for example. But as long as he keeps making those medium flame tanks, like he's also making the Tigers to replenish his division. Funny enough. He Is he swapped out any of the modules on it? That's the stage that we're at now. <laughs> That's Giga Chat. I guess. I guess so. An uh, alpha male. But now I look male. back out of the production tab and I see Frankfurt's on the verge of getting encircled again. Wait, he did upgrade the gun. Oh he my up God! Three divisions just got yeah. encircled at Munster. Oh my God. Oh. Amsterdam might fall too. This could be a three-city situation. Oh, how are we seeing the same thing happen, but like on opposite sides? It actually looked like the allied player yeah, was the on the verge of winning. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. It gets, where's my water? I need to stay hydrated during such intense micro. Yeah, me too. Yeah, this is a fold. Too bad I can't. Oh my god, that's right. I'm so sorry. No, you're fine. It's not like that. It honestly isn't like that. I'm not going to be like, oh, you're drinking water. I, I'm honestly fine. I'm used to it. It's the end of the Ramadan, so I'm like so used to it. The first okay. 10 days, I would sleep half the day. 
but now my body's like used to it and i'm like super energized and super clear-minded every single day it's actually quite crazy really yeah you That's should crazy. try intermittent fasting it's actually very pog mm. okay. and i don't drink caffeine i used to be like i usually need caffeine to function I, I don't need caffeine i have too much of a tolerance for it by this point so like if you saw how much caff caffeine coffee that i drink caffeine <laughs> Yeah, like I, I don't get any energy from it whatsoever. Oh. Honest to God, Amsterdam's falling. That's how I was too, honestly. Yeah, Amsterdam's I, I falling. I just like drinking coffee personally. Yeah, Amsterdam's gone. I don't see a response by the uh, the the U.S. player. It's, Had a, a massive crumbling. numerical advantage and just didn't use it properly. Yeah. American Bros, it's not looking good. There's still a lot of time, so there is a world where the U.S. can just completely re-swap and re-gauge their industry. They do have a bonus from Arsenal of Democracy, not just to the production cap, but also to the base, the growth, the output. So it's not impossible for the U.S. to like Oof. read the situation and then just completely counterbalance what they're doing. But it's something that you need to start doing sooner rather than later. And right now, looking at uh, Serotonin's build doesn't seem like she's changing anything. She's just continuing under the current path. Only this time, she has no manpower left. And the, the number advantage is completely equaled out. Yeah, and the German player has just been training so good. Like, it's, it's again, another 2-1 to one losses uh, situation. That he has another 135,000 waiting. Um, you know, uh, if I was Serotonin and I watched uh, this replay, I'd, I'd honestly uh, be kicking myself. Because, like like you said, you could have done, like, the, the door handle or whatever you were saying. The door... What was the word oh, you yeah, said? Yeah, the, the door hinge. The door, the door hinge. hinge. The door engine maneuver. Yeah, 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 yeah. The door engine maneuver to Berlin. There was actually just like a line of, you know, uh, crappy divisions. It was just a line mm -hmm. of crappy divisions uh, covering yeah. the Frankfurt salient. Yeah, you could have easily done a push for Berlin. I, I, I think that I think she could have properly leveraged, attack with every division into one tile, and then just start doing like hot shot breakthroughs. But instead, she did attacks with just like half of the strength over there, which is just bizarre to me. But now it's just starting to abide her. Like, he's just able to push everywhere now. The number advantage is completely in his favor. She has 35 to his, what, 45, Ooh, 42? 39. Yeah, but, like, the thing is, his he has the he has the flame tank divisions. Yeah, he has how better divisions in the How many of those amount. does he have? Probably, what, what, 15 by now, if I had to guess? I eight. Really? Only eight? I'm surprising. I mean, they're they they're kind of expensive, man. Like, they got... Truly, they got... I mean, doesn't he have it in stockpile, like, the extra equipment? Actually, he could make more. He could make more. Yeah, he could swap four of the templates. Actually, no, yeah. more, actually. He could make five. Then I would probably make six more, because that's you still have the tanks for it. It's just you'd be net even. Yeah, yeah, you, should, yeah, you, you could. He could make six more of them. And then at that and these point, divisions are pretty none good. of infantry can pierce 14 of his infantry. I mean, I say pretty good, but like compared to what... It, it, it's not yeah. so much for the base stats, it's for the fact that it's unpierceable because she doesn't have any arty in her division, it's just pure infantry. So she, all those divisions take 65% take strength. What like, would you do? Like support anti-tank or something? Or support artillery would be enough to, to respond pierce? to those, you just need a couple arty pieces. That's it. You just need something that gives you piercing. If you design a template, like if I look at the division editor and you look at the division under the US infantry, it has uh, 31 piercing with two arty. If you can take out the AT, then it goes down to five piercing, and the template itself has seven. So it's just like, you just put a couple arty pieces, and you get a bunch more soft attack. You won't do 100% strength damage, but you'll do like 80%, and you'll have more soft attack than them. And I mean, just putting uh, just putting support our uh, anti-tank in the division is enough piercing, right? Mm -hmm. That by itself. If either you could do the cheap option, just put AT support equipment, or you could just do... A bunch of arty so you have better divisions overall yeah i mean just looking at rommel look how many traits that he has if you look at the battle at bonn the one south of Köln, it's just <laughs> six traits everything's maxed out infantry expert infantry leader Ooh, eight attack yeah all those encirclements add up because in case people who uh, don't know something that like really meta players do in hoi is when you're grinding your generals, right, if you attack one division into one division, you'll slowly gain XP over time. But if you encircle a group of divisions and you kill them individually one by one, you get like 50 times the XP. So getting yeah, encircled in five divisions is like half a general level. It's crazy. It's insane the difference, actually. 
especially in a game mod like this, where it's really important that you do consistent pushes, rolling high general stats, especially on attack, is such a huge advantage. You have nothing that you need to do with it. It's just baseline. All your divisions are getting a 36% bonus, which if you look right now at any of the battles under uh, Rommel, any one of the infantry get a 30% bonus just by virtue of being on the commander. It's crazy. Lost all the man non-core manpower too. Yeah, good point. Yeah. yeah too many casualties. You just can't keep this up. You can't keep you it up. This is almost 700 she, casualties. Look, look how many more factories she has oh. too, by virtue of having gone arsenal of democracy. This is the killer. This is the killer move. You think so? What is that? 15 divisions? Yeah, that's it. There's no Ooh. recovery from that. Oh, there's no recovery from nasty. that. Nasty. The Arsenal Democracy is insane, though. That's so many more factories. Yeah, that's is that's it? that's 58,000 manpower. Well, by the also way. he didn't go the last 12 civs. Yeah, fair enough. He's going uh, research. Even speed? though it's a 13 factory advantage, should should be Air able. Production. I believe in this position, she should have been able to respond better by regaging her industry. I think continuing the cur the course that she was on was not the right call. Yeah. Also, another thing that happened was that her air slowly started to lose. Yeah. Her air actually just started slowly losing. Like she had all three victory points uh, at one point, right? Yeah. Uh, actually, no. Did she have comb? No, no, she did. No, she never took comb, but she had a uh, oh yeah cone effectively encircled. She needed to yeah. take one tile, and the other two were taken. Yeah, like you, you, you know, you didn't need the. You're not building anything else. You're not building support equipment. So where's your aluminum going? Mm -hmm. Um, and in the beginning, yeah, you have more airplanes. So she was always had air superiority, but uh, I yeah. Mean, look, at, I look, mean, the divisions are just getting shredded in the east as well. Yeah, her build wasn't even that bad. I think that she just needed to do that final push oh. to Berlin. She's not even swapping the air over. She has everything over the Benelux, and she's not doing it like an all-out push there. But meanwhile, in Western Germany, when he has complete domination, he's going crazy. Yeah. It's just a really timid approach. It's a very unfortunate approach. I think she's falling back now, going for just like a last stand. That's still pretty giga, Chad. Not giving up, even though this is like... No, I think fighting to the end is important, yeah. Yeah, fighting to the important is really cool. There's 42 days left. Why not? Not to mention the fact, by the way, just as a follow-up midget, it's not even that she would have had to have closed out the game by virtue of pushing near to Berlin. It's the fact that it would have forced him to have stopped doing the push at Frankfurt without being mm -hmm. at extreme risk. Knowing me, I probably wouldn't have cared at all and still kept doing the push, right? Go crazy. But, like, most people are going to see that they're about to get their entire front killed and they'll back out. Unless you're psychopathic. In which case, you'll just, you'll just see that they're pushing to Berlin and you're just like, okay, and they just keep going. I mean, the Tigers replenishing, still got good stats, good breakthrough. It's going to break through in the West, even though that they're fighting under no air. Never mind. She moved. What is happening with the air? I don't understand what I'm looking at. It's a lot of just bizarre micro with it. Yeah, uh, he didn't have the Look troops. The cast damage he's doing. He's doing 16 damage. The German player actually did not have there. the troops to hold the South. If they, she did like a big push to Berlin while they were, the battles were going for Frankfurt. So even even the distraction play. No, yeah, yeah, midget. Like it probably would have ended up, like there would have been a very good chance that she could have killed the Germans by ca capturing all the court states, by pushing in through there. But more likely, if that didn't happen, it would have just doomed the front anyway, just because of the shape it would have been. Could have cut off the network from further upstream as well. Like the other angle of it. It's not so much that she needed to kill him versus how she could have just denied him. Yeah. I mean, at this point, it's just a stable push. He needs to swap his right. air over to northern France and he'll start doing a lot of bombing. Another thing to take note of is while AA wasn't necessary for his infantry to have been in the position he is in right now, he's still shooting down planes with his AA whenever he's not covering the zone he's fighting in, which helps. Mm. Helps a lot, actually. I mean, surely we just wait for a little bit more planning bonus, then we go in again. Only this time we do it through Belgium. I doubt he'll go through Alsace. The terrain there is a little rough. He's across over the river. Best place would be if you did it at like Mole House, but it's one division that can attack from a direction. Starbroken could help. You could attack from two into a plane style. But she's just doing last stand now. Yeah. You suspect there's going to be any other encirclements with 15 days left? 
Uh, no. I think this is they're just going to keep pushing uh, uh, against each other back and forth, and uh, and then it's just going to be the Axis victory. I'd wager it was still she's a good match, though. Two massive oh, oh, pair yeah. drops, instant kill cone. Uh, the Tiger tank, that's <laughs> it's back, dude. It's making plays. The last plays. Tiger finally taking Dunkirk. The, 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 the Tiger tank actually making plays. Actually, it actually did work. I'll, I'll give it. I'll give the tank credit. It did better than I thought it was gonna do. It did. It did work. God. It did work, and it's staying. It's staying. Uh, look at it. It's holding a city by itself. God given right. Let's go, Tiger. Yeah, bros. it's like it's Let's like it hurt go, us. Tiger Bros. It's like the Tiger tank hurt us. Like, oh yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Look at me. I'm holding the city by myself. I'm holding yeah, Lil. Really well too. Let me, let me see something. Yeah, see something. Yeah, um, shout out to my one viewer that w was always telling me about flame tanks. I should have listened to him. Yeah, it's good. It really good. is good. Something I find interesting as well with the players is that they both went the army defense genius. I actually think that the better thing to do in this mod is to swap. Like, he's using Emilio Di Bono. You could have just used um, Alder. I think 15% attack is just so much better. Like, in TFB, for example, who BB, it's, it's not half. the same. But yeah, it's, it's half, half, that's why. And TFB, it's, you know, well, the thing is... Uh, Defense is you, higher in TFB than offense. Or yeah, it's like doubled, that. but um, mm -hmm. uh, even then, I still go the offense sometimes. Yeah, because it's better. No, it yeah. still is better. Like, you should not go defense usually, especially because, like, defense It's helps. like some cases that... It's like, for example, Great Britain, I feel like the defense is actually really good. Because, like, you're holding the yeah. islands and you're holding yeah. different key points. Mm -hmm. um, there we have it. There we yeah. have it. That's Axe's uh, Axe victory. But yeah, if you guys didn't know, if you didn't know, this is actually a Hoi 4 information. Offense uh, is the stat that is on both defense and offense. So it's um, it's a stat that is gets applied to your soft attack and your hard attack. Not to mention, defense is only useful for buffing, funny enough, your defense and your breakthrough. But yeah. breakthrough doesn't matter if you're using really, like, weak infantry like you just need stats like yeah you need, you need uh, like offense like yeah you have these you have these really high org divisions like these 10 wits are like 80 org because they have no supports or anything it's like mm -hmm. you just need more soft attack yeah 64 org on the axis side I, i'm content with this Axis went on on rhineland statistically yeah. improbable yeah axes have been not that favored on rhineland uh yeah it's like allied but, um, you know, uh, I do have to say Serotonin did, honestly, a good job. Was uh, yeah. inches away from victory, honestly. Very close. Very, very close. A little more. It was teetering for, like, quite a while there. I'd say, like, 100 days where it was just teetering on the entire front. That push, that salient, was just really bad for the Germans at one point. She just needed to close it out. The fact that they were able to consolidate it there was very bad. Ugh. <sighs> You don't happen to have the bracket, do you? Yes, I do. I can show it on stream. I can show it on stream. Give me one second, guys. Oh, here it is. There you go. So we uh today we just spectated uh group three, uh I w we would have to wake up pretty early for uh group one. Hopefully they switch slots. I'm gonna talk to Midgeman and like they can switch their timings, mm. because I would like to see some of these players like um Katusha, and Knife. Um, Tudasil is one of my viewers actually. Really? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's the end of today. Um, they need to still update the bracket, Midgeman, and, uh, I think also Firefly, they're working together. I believe... Yes, he is a match lieutenant. Um, but that, yeah, that's it for today. I think, actually, Kristoff and, um, Morris are still playing. Do you want to cast a little bit more? How do you feel? I mean, I'm down to get food. It's up to you. Also, I'm gloating on, on you again as well. <laughs> You're not gloating. You're not gloating. That's not how it works. Oh, okay. That's not how it works. No, no, no. You know, sometimes uh, I like watching. Actually, a lot of times I like watching people cook food. Oh, my God. When I'm fasting, it helps, I think. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair. <laughs> okay. Well, so what do you want to do? You want to cast one more or we call it a day? We've casted for yeah, almost four hours. Yeah, yeah four call hours. there. Call there. Just yeah, all right. Well, uh, that's it for today, guys. Uh, if you want to see more Command and Commanders in Conflict open, 
me and Golden are going to be doing this for like the next, what, seven weeks, they said? Something like yeah, every Sunday. Yeah, every Sunday for the next seven weeks. Every Sunday we're going to be doing uh, somewhere between three to five hours of casting every Sunday. Uh, Command Enders in Conflict open. We'll be catching different matches. Uh, come come here on this stream, twitch.tv slash speed5official. Make sure to hit that follow button. Uh, make sure to support Speed5 by subscribing. Help them do more projects just like this one. Um, if you guys don't know how this works, there's going to be a lot more group stage matches. And the top, I believe it's the top four of the Open League. I think at some point it becomes a tournament bracket. But the top four, I believe, I could be wrong on this, but the top some players will actually be invited for a tournament where the top players from Season 1 will play against the Open players for Season 2 of Commanders in Conflict. So these players here are all getting an opportunity to play against some of the best Hoi 4 one v oneers like CMOPS and that guy from college. So make sure to follow, make sure to check out uh, the, the, make sure to check out uh, our social medias, Speed Five social medias. That's it for me. Golden, you have anything last to say? No, I think you basically covered everything. That was a very eloquent ending. Wow, that was <laughs> covered everything. Yeah, that was that was that was a damn fine soliloquy, my guy. All right, awesome man. I really enjoy casting with you, man. Can't wait for next Sunday. All right, bro. It was fun. It was fun. Yes, it was. See you later. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, everyone. See you.